So we have, we have two things going on here, two very simple fixes, and two things we can rattle off really quickly today. So the first, if we look in, in the picking hand, it's really good that you're working towards this directional picking. So it's really good to see that. So what's happening in your picking hand right now, as you're doing the sweep pick string change, instead of doing a sweep picking motion, meaning when we pick down, it's down, and then everything under that downstroke is just one continuous downstroke. Instead of that, all that's happening is we're just re-picking with a new downstroke. So instead of... Instead of that, all we're getting is... Okay. Use the baseball bat analogy. Remember that one? Yeah. So just imagine... Imagine you're a baseball player. Okay, you're standing up with your bat ready. Instead of one guy throwing a ball, you've now got two guys. Okay, and what they're gonna do, guy number one is gonna throw his ball first, and then right after, guy number two is gonna throw his ball. Do you think it'll be easier to hit both those balls in one swing? Absolutely. Or do you think it'd be easier to try and yeah, one. <laughs> do one. two hits? Yeah, one. One? Yeah. All right. So, we wanna try and translate that into our guitar playing as well. So as you play this directional picking, what I want you to do with the, uh, with the sweep picking is let your pick fall onto the next string. Okay. And just sort of just be pushing a little bit against it. So let's just take these first three notes. And as soon as you play the third note, this pick should fall onto that next string and be pushing slightly against it. Okay. okay so, so just try that first. So watch the picking hand as you do this as well. That's it, so just let that pick fall onto the next string. Yeah, that's the right idea. Okay, but now we've changed how we're approaching the picking hand onto the string. So before, this mm -hmm. was more like this. Okay. Then you changed it. Oh, yeah. This is why you got that harmonic sound. Okay. So just keep the hand like this. Do it again. And just let that pick fall into the strings. And again. And again. And again. All right, cool. So now, take that same approach and I just want you just to play just straight up the scale. Mm -hmm. But I want you to do that on every single string. Stop at each one. Like, oh. uh, let's, let's try and keep all the notes as, as even as we it. can. Um, if the rhythm isn't perfectly rhythmic for right now, that's, that's not too much of a big issue. That's very, very easy to fix. Okay. So for right now, I just want you to get that motion of the pick okay. resting against each string as you do that sweet picking motion. All right, I'm back down. So when you're coming down, using that pick to pull on the other side of the string. So when we're changing the strings, the pick never stops moving, okay? When you, so when you're ascending and you go down, then up, then down, it never stops going down. It's continuously, just like the analogy of the baseball player who's going to hit two balls from two different pitchers. You can't stop the bat and then try and start it again. The bat never stops moving. We're going to hit both balls, the first one and then the second one. If you go down, up, down, pause, down, up, down, pause, it's all over. Okay. So what actually is happening is the, the pick actually slows down a bit as you're... Scratch what I just said about slowing down a bit. We're not going to get into that 
uh, that part of it. What I want you to do is just go down, up, and now one big down that goes across without stopping. idea but you'll notice that at this speed that you're playing the pick arrives at the next string too early in time right mm -hmm. she so got down up down and the pick is already hitting the next string before the next note should be played so what has to happen is the pick is actually going to slow down down up down, it's going to slow down now, but never stop moving. Okay. And then it's going to hit that string at the right moment. Okay. Okay. So take it really slow. Let's go half that speed. There you go, like that. That's it. It never stops moving down. Now, when you come back the other way, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to, you're going to go up, down, up, but when you pull that hand back, the pick never stops. You may have to slow it down so it doesn't hit the new string too early, okay. but it can't stop. If it stops, all is lost. Okay. Should I go up? Yep. Yep. So that's the picking hand. 